For those of us who don't live in New Jersey, Jersey club music seems to be a relatively recent development, emerging over the past two years. In fact, I'm sure when a lot of us think of Jersey club, we think of TikTok remixes, Bandman Reel, or maybe part streamer, part rapper, I Show Speed. While this may be the current phase of the sound, the fact of the matter is that Jersey Club is decades older than even I originally thought, and for most of its history, was just focused on making people turn up in the club, or bringing people together to dance. The rapping aspect is a relatively new addition. It's your boy Cool, and today we're going to be taking a brief look at the history of Jersey Club music. Let's go. Before we take a look at the history of Jersey Club, let's take a look at what makes the style unique from other club music. Most club music has a four on the floor pattern, that is a kick every beat. That sounds like this. Jersey Club adds in an extra kick and rearranges the second half of the phrase so that three kicks will play in a dotted eighth note pattern as opposed to every beat. That sounds like this. Jersey Club also incorporates much more lively vocal chops into the music, often creating a call and response pattern. Now it's important to note that there are two main types of Jersey Club original content and remixes. Both types will often include samples of other music, often chopping it up beyond recognition. Remixes, however, will preserve the structure of the original song. We can see these going viral on platforms such as TikTok and YouTube. Originally, these were designed to take a popular hit pander them to a New Jersey audience, essentially to get people turned in the club. Original tracks serve this purpose as well, creating a new song in the process. Now that we have sort of a brief overview of Jersey Club, let's dive into its history. Make sure you're subscribed because only 3% of you are. A unique Jersey Club sound started to develop during the 1980s in the club Zanzibar in Newark, New Jersey. However, it's stuck with the standard full in the floor pattern, so I'm not gonna really dive into it. It's important to note this development though, as it set Newark as sort of the center for Jersey club music for the decades to come. The unique Jersey pattern we're familiar with today was not seen until almost two decades later, around 1999. DJ Tamil, one of the early pioneers of Jersey club music, credits the music scene in Baltimore or Be More Club for the inspiration behind the unique kick pattern. In a PBS documentary on Jersey club, he specifically cites the track Control by Tap as the track that inspired Jersey Club. We gotta have day control. 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 Tamil got the blessing to bring the sound from Baltimore to Jersey. This resulted in many DJs starting to import records from a store in Baltimore called Music Liberated to play in the clubs in Jersey. They wanted something unique and different to play in the clubs. However, this source dried up in 2003 when the owner of Music Liberated, Bernie Rubinowitz, passed away. His death put a stop to things as he was the one financing the pressing of a lot of the club records he sold. This forced New Jersey artists to start making their own records. The Brick Bandits were an influential Jersey club group that emerged due to this during the early 2000s. Named after new worker, Brick City, this group helped to grow the early Jersey sound. The only music I could find online from them during this period was what appears to be remixes of kids songs dated to 2002. These probably aren't the best representation of the group's talents, but I want to show you some of their music, so let's take a listen. Brick, Brick. Now it's probably important to mention that the original Jersey Club sound is different from that of today. The tracks were more stripped back than a modern record, designed specifically for turning up at the club via big speakers rather than casual listening at home through smaller speakers or headphones. And bass on huge speakers really fills up everything, so you don't really need much more. Starting in 2005, a new generation of Jersey Club artists started to gain prominence in the scene. This is not saying that Brick Bandits fell off or anything, this is far from the truth actually. As an example, Brick Bandits member DJ Tim Dalla was very active around this time. Now, some of these newer artists include, to just name a few, Natus, DJ Slink, DJ Lil Man, and DJ J Hood. The latter's track, Heartbroken, inspired the band Man Real track by the same name. We still see many of the earlier elements of club, such as rapid vocal chops and sampling. However, we start to see more original vocals from the DJs and local rappers. These are not rap verses though, just instructions on how to dance, somewhat similar to a Cupid Shuffle or Chacha Slide in a way. Often the vocalist will say a line or two and then the vocals will get chopped up in a crazy rhythm. It's important to note that tracks using original vocals had big 
bigger potential to grow as they could be played on the radio without fear of copyright infringement. A modern example of this that I'm sure many of my viewers are familiar with is sample drill versus normal drill. Regular drill will tend to net more profits and perform better due to its ability to be distributed through digital service providers such as Spotify and Apple Music. When it comes to Jersey Club, this radio play led to the growth of tracks as standalone records, proving that an avenue other than club play existed. Music videos shot for tracks also started to pop up around this period, showing how the music was branching out to different places. It's very important to recognize the growth of female artists during this time. According to PBS, 65% of Jersey Club listeners are female, though only a small fraction of club artists are. We see female artists emerge such as rapper Miss Porsche and later producer and DJ Unique. They start to emerge onto the scene and put out records. Now let's take a listen to two of the bigger records from this period. First we'll listen to Hands on Your Hips by DJ J Hood, DJ Joker. Put my hands on your hip. When I dip, you dip, we dip, you dip, we dip, you dip, we dip, you dip, you dip, you dip, you dip, you As you can hear, the DJ call-outs are more frequent, but we're still very far from full rapping. Team Lil Man Anthem by DJ Lil Man is by far the most popular track of this era, currently sitting at around 57 million views on YouTube. Let's listen. Rock, 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 slide, switch, one, two, three, go left, back, right, back, up. With the success of Team Lil Man Anthem, it became evident that the sky is the limit for Jersey Club. The scene continued to grow until it reached a turning point in 2018. Three major things happened during this year that played a big role in the growth of the sound. First, singer Ciara used a Jersey Club kick pattern in her top 40 hit, Level Up, currently sitting at around 320 million views. I'm not gonna even try playing it because I know I'm gonna get striked instantly. While there is a debate surrounding her appropriation of the Jersey Club sound, what can't be argued is that she exposed elements of Jersey Club to a huge audience and proved they liked it. Back in Jersey, we see an influential club track get released. According to a lot of the sources I looked over, It's Time by Unicorn, aka Killer Kurt Cobain, featuring Rolling Stone P. It's the first time a Jersey Club beat saw a full rap verse on it. By full rap verse, I mean a verse at least eight bars of unmodified vocals. Now, just an instrumental plays for a large portion of the song, much like a standard club track, but for the most part, it sounds and looks like a rap song. Let's listen. Get down like, down like. this is what the f sound like, right. and this is what a unicorn look like. One leg, get back, get your foot right. The third thing that happens in 2018 for Jersey Club doesn't really create an explosion in the scene immediately. Rather, starting the countdown for a nuclear grade explosion a few years down the line. This event is TikTok merging with Musical.ly and it's close to overnight popularity worldwide. This platform would help club songs and remixes to reach global audiences. This is not to say that club tracks did not enjoy online success before as this clearly is not the case proven by the songs I've played thus far. TikTok created a much easier way to share and spread these tracks though. Fast forward two years to 2020 and Jersey Club remixes start to pop up all over TikTok. These were usually remixes of popular songs on TikTok or the charts. The videos that accompanied these tracks usually featured people dancing and turning up. People would show support to the dancers in the comments. The first original track to go viral on TikTok was Vibe by Cookie Kawaii, currently sitting at more than 50 million views on YouTube through its various videos. The track features a chill ambient vibe while still touching on club themes such as dancing and twerking, perfect for viral success on TikTok. This song also received a remix featuring rap legend Tyga. Let's take a listen. Slightly over a year ago now, on March 14th, 2021, Bandman Real posted a video to TikTok in which he made a skit of himself recording a drill song over a Jersey Club beat. This video went viral currently sitting at 2.4 million views on TikTok, leading to him finishing the song he memed in the video. This song became his breakout single, Heartbroken. It's important to note though that not all Jersey Club enthusiasts were clicked to claim Bandman Real as part of the genre. They rather labeled his music as Jersey Club Drill or Jersey Drill. There are differences between his music and that of original club tracks. Obviously, the lyrics, his being more drill-like and aggressive, as opposed to dance-like lyrics. His music generally tends to run faster as well, around 150 to 165 BPM, though there are exceptions. He maintains the earlier production elements of frequent vocal chops and sampling in his music, though these vocal chops will be part of the instrumental with him rapping on top of it all. Regardless of how you feel about his music, there's no doubt that Bandman Real is making waves right now. He's combining already popular and familiar drill lyrical themes with a style of beat that many mainstream listeners are unfamiliar with hearing these lyrics on. So far, this formula is working, creating infectious dance tracks that can be enjoyed off the dance floor as well. Recently, he received a feature and co-sign from New Jersey rap legend Fetty Wap, 
who seems to have embraced the sound. Speaking of embracement, this genre of club drill is starting to attract artists outside the state of New Jersey. Two other popular artists using club beats are rappers Too Rare from Philadelphia and internet sensation I Show Speed from Cincinnati. Whether you want to call this appropriation or inspiration is entirely up to you, though it does prove that the style is well and truly nationwide. Jersey Club has also received recognition from the likes of recent XXL freshman and New Jersey native Coyla Ray to pop icon Doja Cat, the latter featuring a DJ Slink remix of her song Streets on her Streets remix album. Now this leaves us in the present day, Jersey Club Drill exploding into the mainstream rap market while remixes continue to trend and do crazy numbers on platforms like TikTok. More and more people are being exposed to the sound that was introduced to new work those 20 some odd years ago by DJ Tamil. So what do you guys think about Jersey Club? Do you think it will emerge as a rap subgenre to compete with trap or drill maybe? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's was hard to condense all this rich history of Jersey Club into such a short video. I tried to fit as much as I could, but I know I probably missed stuff. You know, I'm sorry to any of the Jersey Club fans that I may have offended. Um, definitely let me know in the comments if there's some information that I'm missing so you can help me and the viewer learn some more. Nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, drop a like, comment, all that jazz, and I'll see you guys later.